what you're looking at is the coming new monstrous in the Catholic Church and um, I think someone like Darth Vader is going to be the Antichrist. Let me tell you why I think this. Now, I've watched Jonathan Clegg's videos and um, you know, I can see from this that this could be, you know, it's got a triangle there and it's got strange looking eyes there, different shapes on there. I don't even know what it looked like if I turned it round. Let's try and... Yeah, it, look, it looks crazy, even from that side. It could be like a... I don't know... Pac-Man or something. So I think this is the Antichrist. Um, why do I think this? Because in the Bible it talks about the mark of the beast, and it's actually combining um, humanity with uh, a microchip, or like becoming cyborg, and like in these movies, even though Darth Vader was a bad guy, and it indoctrinated like millions of, billions of people actually that, you know, being a part machine and part human being, you know, is, is bad, because he was a bad guy, and he had like dark powers and stuff like that, you know what I mean, um, but I think this could be the Antichrist, because, um, what do you think, I think it's, it, it could be to do with the Mark of the Beast. And I'm not going to tell you where I got it unless you run out and buy the stuff and all that. But, I mean, I've checked and there's no aborted babies in this, this product. But, I would not recommend that any human being eat this because I think it truly is, could be the actual new monstrous, like what they have in the Catholic Church. They believe that if they eat this, that they have eternal life. Um, eat the cookie. So I think this is, uh, I'm not going to risk it myself because I have eternal life in Jesus. So all I'm going to do with this cookie is all a man can do. Just want to watch closely to see what happens to him because This is a Carrie Fisher still um, from the movie uh, The Empire Strikes Back and as you can see her eyes are shaped like uh, little f frog eyes basically like uh, little four stars and uh, we know that the frog demons are mentioned in the book of Revelation they're linked with uh, military organizations and they lead the world astray um, to worship the Antichrist or to worship the beast and so you know seriously I mean Star Wars is very closely related to the New Age religion it's actually a religion in itself and um, even the shape of Darth Vader um, is really demonic obviously he's one of the all-time uh, well-known bad guys which the writer George Lucas says you know uh, you really got the idea of Vader from the Hindu Vedas, and that's just full of uh, descriptions of demons. The new Clone Wars, um, this is a new trilogy of the Star Wars movies, and uh, well, I just wonder that the New Age religion and a lot, obviously, communism as well. You know, they want to make everyone, literally, uh, recreate everyone and uh, give them a, a new identity or maybe even take away their name, just give them a number. You know, as we see in um, court systems, you know, we have the capital letter identity, which is uh, the term for legalism, which is it's actually not lawful to actually quote your legal name. A lot of people don't actually realize that, but there's a lot of um, advertisement boards gone up in the UK reminding people um, about that, which uh, is very, very important because um, Obviously people are just getting robbed left, right and centre and they don't know their rights these days. Um, with a lot of, um, you know, parking companies and different things just trying to extort and get money from people. Um, and they, they have no lawful means to do it. So, anyhow, but this is the type of world we live in. And, uh, you know, 
the way God created men equally and as I mentioned in the beginning you know the Antichrist is um, doing a different job but he's taking away individual identity and um, you know bringing in this very very communistic um, view of politics and uh, even religion as well it's an old saying that birds of a feather flock together um, but again how can you be an individual if um, you're only going with the in crowd and allowing um, friends and family to dictate to you um, what your life is, who you are who your friends are I mean um, that's quite cowardly to be honest um, to be an individual takes much more courage takes much more effort as well and um, I, I'd always encourage people just to be who they are find who they are in Christ and actually be who they are in Christ and we've all got a calling and uh, you know um, obviously marriage is um, you're, you're meant to be bored of a feather, you know, you meant to flock together in that way, but at the same time, you know, if you've got that um, agreement and religious views, um, still you should keep your individuality as a, um, have a personality and be able to express yourself and without fear, basically, and, uh, you know, communism and the, the clone mentality, if you want to call it that. Um, doesn't produce any any real um, character. It just produces um, very weak, spineless individuals that just go along with with the crowd and just um, you know it's quite sad to be honest. Um, you know they think they're having fun, but you know um, truly it's, it's it's more fun to um, do something um, more adventurous and. To obviously serve God in this age where um, you know Jesus Christ and um, the true God is being um, sidelined, swept under the carpet these days, and you know people are just uh, filling their lives with um, you know sports and leisure and you know all these activities. But you know wh where is the actual um, you know where is the actual core um, of of what it is that we're doing? You know, and uh, we can just lose ourselves in all these endless activities, um, and and it really just takes um, our eyes off of Christ, as it were. So we should really fo make sure we focus on Christ at all times, no matter what it is we're doing. And if we can do that, then we can be we can shine like stars um, in the firmament, as it's written in Daniel uh, 12, and we won't look stupid. <laughs> when the time comes, when Christ comes back and uh, yes to see if we can find faith on the earth